Hey guys, welcome back to Gunpla Rush. Today we'll be reviewing this transparent and or clear Gundam XCS7 Swords. It's really badass. I'm not going to lie. I really like this one. It's going to be a great review, guys. Let's get into this video. Before we do that, if you would, drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. That would really help me out over here. Now, guys, let's get into this video. And we're going to be checking out everything from this Gundam based off of its price, quality, articulation, all that good stuff. Now, let's get into it. The aesthetics. This is one of the most breathtaking. Gundams. I mean, I think these things are amazing. I just love the clear kits whenever they make them. They look great under a black light. They look great under regular light. The overall aesthetic is that of the original Gunpla, but everything is, of course, just clear and transparent. The cool thing about this transparent kind of uh, plastic that they use for a lot of these kits is that underneath some sort of UV light, it does glow. It does pop out a lot, which is something I definitely love for doing some kind of effects kit on things like this. In the size comparison, it's about the same size as any old just regular RG or HG kit, so it's not any bigger or anything like that. The giant sword does kind of add a lot of size to it, so if you need to have some space on a shelf to basically put this guy on there, that might be something to consider. Overall, it's pretty much the same size as a regular old HG. The price. The price of this guy is actually kind of ambiguous because I have seen it go from anywhere from $25 all the way up to $135. I happen to get mine for free from Amazon because they screwed up in order. The quality is actually really good. He's very sturdy. It's not something really to complain about. You can pose it in many poses. The only thing being is that that giant sword is just not something that he's going to be able to hold up on his own without having some sort of stand. Other than that, man, it's a really good quality kit. It has practically no flaws, in my opinion. That's really saying something, especially because it's a really nice print of this kit now where these kits are from is the gundam base which is where they basically make these clear limited kits it's freaking awesome it's a giant gundam where these things come from there's a giant gundam standing right there in front and i love it i think it's great the build time is about that of your average regular old kit he was really quick to build it's not something that's too complicated and he's also not got a lot of the extra parts around his body that some of the other you know double o gundams have so he's just a little lighter the only thing that was a little more difficult in some scenarios is just that big sword but that's only if you really want to put it all together like that there are a ton of options with that thing but the build time all depends on basically how you want your end result for this guy to be i would say on average maybe about 30 minutes build time to 45 minutes build time if you're used to building gun blood if you're not used to building them then maybe like an hour and a half or something like that what is my verdict on this particular gun plot? i think it's an amazing gun plot. if you can find it for a decent price you should definitely pick it up however of course as i usually tell you guys if you can't really find it for anything less than maybe 45 bucks i probably wouldn't pick this guy up just yet um as there is actually like a very large set that he can come with which is four of the double o gundams together and they're all clear kits if you can find that one for less than 100 bucks then maybe it's totally worth it because then you have each of them for 25 this occasionally appears on amazon and you can get it depending on where you are in the world you know for a different extra shipping fee would be adding on so for me maybe it would cost like $30 for shipping plus whatever the original um, set of four is so yeah it's definitely something you guys should check out if you're just really into the clear kits I would definitely suggest getting online and having a look at it just because they go quick these clear kits do not last long for some reason and that reason obviously being that they're clear and rare and from the Gundam base and people like to collect them <laughs> let me know what you guys think of this clear double o gundam in the comments below it's really cool definitely kick-started my hobby of collecting the clear kits thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next video and of course i'll be dropping another gunpla video for you right here